Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the uh, design of dog liquid staircase. So the problem is an intermediate flight, so that is intermediate flight dog liquid staircase of staircase is supported only at the edge of landing. Height between the floors or landing is 1.5 meter. The flight has steps consisting of rise, so rise is 150 mm each and thread uh, having the each 250 mm. So the steps supporting on a waste lab. So the landing is 1 meter, then support width is 250 mm. Each design, uh, so design the waste slab and landing for bending movement along use of M20 grade concrete and FE415 steel. So we take live load is 3 kN per meter square, then width of flight is 1.5 meter. Okay, so we have to design the uh, uh, dog legged staircase. So now the solution. So the solution is first we have to take the number of steps of each, each landing. So number of steps is uh, 10 steps. So thread is 10 minus 1 equal to 9 thread. Okay, so uh, whenever the step, we can take the steps, so thread is uh, minus 1 number, so 9 thread is there. So now thread occupied, so now 9 threads into 1 thread is 250 mm, so that is given, so that is uh, each is 250 mm, so now we can take uh, 2250 mm. So we can convert it to meter, so 2.25 meter. Okay, so now uh, the landing is given. So landing is 1 meter. So now we can take the total effective span. Effective span equal to, so the first 1 meter again plus that is landing, then 2.25 meter, so that is the thread distance plus so both support is uh, 0 point, support with this uh, 2 point, sorry uh, 0 point 0.25, so it is 250 mm. So we can take uh, in both sides 0 point 0.25 meter divided by 2 again plus 0 point 0.25 meter divided by 2. So the total uh, effective span is 3.50 meter. Okay, so now we can take uh, 3.50 meter. So now uh, we can take the formula. So now uh, from IS456 span by depth equal to equal to 20. So now we can substitute uh, 3.50 divided by uh, 20 equal to depth. Okay, so we can find out the depth. So now uh, solve this, we can uh, have the depth equal to 0 0.175 meter. Okay, so that is 175 mm. Okay, so now we can take the effective depth equal to, so we can take 20 mm cover. So now we can take uh, 175 minus 20 mm cover equal to 155 mm. So this is the effective depth of slab. Okay, so now we can take uh, loads and uh, moment. After that, we can find out the reinforcement detailing. Okay, now we can take the loads. So first, we can find out the dead load. So live load is also already given. Uh, dead load on slab. So dead load on slab equal to 1 into the thickness is 1.7 0 0.175 into 25 so uh, m25 is unit weight of concrete so we can uh, solve this we got a value of uh, 4.375 kilonewton per meter okay so this is a dead load on uh, we have to find out the dead load on horizontal because uh, uh, this slab is uh, inclined so we can take the horizontal so dead load on slab on horizontal okay so now we can take ws into root of 
r square plus t square that is uh, rise and thread divided by t okay so now we can take w is equal to 4.375 we find out over here into root of 0.25 square plus 0.15 square so rise and thread is given divided by so thread is 0.25 okay so from that we can calculate uh, 5.1 kilo newton per meter okay so next thing is uh, load on one strip one strip equal to half into 0.25 into 0.15 that is uh, uh, thread and rise into unit weight of concrete equal to 0.4685 okay so now uh, we can take uh, load on uh, step in one meter so for one meter we have to find out so load on step for one meter so we can take 0.46875 into 1 meter divided by so uh, thread equal to 1.88 kilo newton per meter so this is uh, load on one step for uh, 1 meter so then finishes load we can take uh, assume 0 0.5 so finish says load equal to 0 0.5 kilo newton per meter so now we can take the total load so total uh, dead load equal to 5.1 we already found out over here again plus there is 1.88 plus here 0 0.5 that is finishes load so totally we have 4 point sorry 7.48 kN per meter so live load is already given live load is 3 kN per meter is given so now the total load so this is total dead load so now total load dead load plus live load dead load plus live load equal to 7.48 plus 3 so that is uh, 10.5 approximately 10.5 kN per meter ok so now we can take the factor load So factor load equal to 1.5 that is factor of safety into 10.5 so uh, value is 15.75 kN per meter ok so this is a load we can take for the find out the bending moment so the bending moment is so the moment is the m equal to w l square by 8 so w value is of 15.75 into the length is uh, 3.5 meter the 3.5 square divided by 8 so uh, solving this we got the value of 24.12 kN meter ok so this is the moment uh, we have to design for this moment ok so before uh, calculating the reinforcement detailing we can uh, check the depth so check for depth So now D equal to root of MU divided by 0 0.138 FCKB. So now we can take uh, MU equal to 24.12 into kilometer meter. We can convert into Newton mm. So uh, 10 power 6 divided by 0 0.138 into FCK is 20 uh, into the B value is 1000. Okay, solving this we got a value of 93.47 mm. Okay, so we can take the effective depth is uh, 155 mm. So this is greater than uh, 93. So hence this is safe. So hence the uh, depth is safe. So we can calculate the reinforcement detailing. So now the reinforcement detailing. So the formula is MU equal to 0 0.87 FY AST into D into 1 minus FY AST divided by SCK B into D.
so now we can substitute all the values over here so the mu is 24.12 into 10 power 6 then 0 0.87 into fy value is 415 into ast we have to find out and depth is one uh, 0 0.155 into so 1 minus fy value is 415 into ast we have to find out again divided by fck is 20 and uh, b value is uh, 1000 into depth value is 155 okay so from that we can find out ast so solving this we got uh, ast of 1000 mm square okay so now we can provide provide 12 mm diabars at 200 mm center to center okay so now we can take the distribution bars so distribution bars is 0 0.0012 that is uh, uh, 0 0.12 percentage into uh, AST 1000 into depth is 175 so equal to we got the value of 210 mm square okay so for that we can provide so distribution bars we can provide 10 mm dia bars at 300 mm center to center okay so we can uh, draw the diagram of uh, reinforcement detailing so that is uh, so for that so the landing is 1 meter so then uh, every rise and thread we have to calculate the diameter so sorry dimension so that is a uh, rise is a uh, 250 mm and rise is 150 mm so the waste slab so we having the main boss and distribution boss okay so the main boss is a uh, 12 mm dia boss at 200 mm center to center then distribution boss over here so this distribution boss is 10 uh, so this distribution is 10 mm dia boss at 300 mm center to center okay so this is the method we can design the dog legged staircase again we will see next video thank you